Chex Quest HD is the 2020 reimagining of the original Chex Quest released in 1996. The original was a collaboration between General Mills and Digital Cafe to promote Chex Cereal. The original was a Doom clone that would eventually receive two sequels and become a cult classic. Being a Doom clone, you had access to tons of mods like Brutal Doom or the option to run it with more quality of life improvements through projects like GZ Doom or Z Doom. Now, fast forward several years after the third Chex Quest game, and General Mills, in collaboration with a new team, and some of the original developers even, has remade the first game in Unreal Engine 4 to remote Chex Mex, but what's more this time, it has local multiplayer. So is it worth playing? Let's find out. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing is just taking a look at the multiplayer component, how it works, how it sets up, so we're not going to be really diving into the changes in the single player campaign. So Chex Quest HD is what you'd expect from a budget HD reimagining of an old Doom clone. It's not bad, but it's not great either. There are some cool weapons, but the controls in this version of the game feel a bit more sluggish than you'd expect. There's a lack of options like rebindable keys, and there's also the HUD. Now, levels are pretty small and narrow already, so it's not that much of a problem, but the Chex helmet you wear does get in the way a bit. It kind of reminds me of the helmet HUD in Star Wars Republic Commando, but at least that game let you turn it off. As far as the new art style goes, it's fine. It's clean and simplistic. Between this and the 96 version, it's a matter of personal preference. Both aimed for a similar direction, and both pulled it off differently clean and simple. However, the same can't be said regarding the music. The original MIDI soundtrack still sounds way better than what we got here. Alright, so for Quest for the Couch, we usually just kind of go on a little bit longer, but for a game like this, it's pretty simplistic. So, we're going to be just getting into my criteria right away, which is price, the pick up and play aspect, and lasting appeal. Alright, so price. It's free. It doesn't have online multiplayer, Steam cloud saves, or achievements, but it's free and it's kind of cool, honestly, that they would release it on Steam. It's a 2 gigabyte download, it is a newer engine, so you might actually need to not have a toaster to run this thing, but runs and plays pretty well. Now there is one caveat to this, and that's getting the multiplayer working, which brings me to my second criteria, the pick up and play aspect. You know, how hard is it to get a group of people to sit down and play this game? You know, do the controllers work out of the gate? Do you have to configure anything? Is it big picture mode friendly, you know, stuff like that. And actually, multiplayer is a little bit more complicated to get working, because the game, for whatever reason, whatever reason, decided you need to input a code to unlock a character first before you can start playing multiplayer, because multiplayer is completely grayed out. I tried plugging in different controllers, nothing worked. And then I found out that you needed to unlock the multiplayer characters themselves and input the code. So these codes are on specially marked packages of General Mills Chex Mix. And that's just really, really frustrating because you're trying to figure this out and, you know, maybe you got some people like, oh man, you got the boys over and you want to play some Chex Mix HD, right? You, you, you spend a whole day, you know, planning this out like, oh man, we're going to play Chex Mix HD. And then we, we find out like, oh, what's this? Why can't we play the multiplayer? It, it, it's, 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 it's broken? It's not working? Or is it the controllers? No, you have to input a code. So I will leave a link in the description as well as one of the codes there as well because you can go on General Mills websites and they are releasing the codes for each character, uh, I believe over a period of time. So you don't actually have to go out and buy this, the, the, ch the Chex Mix. So you don't actually have to go out and buy Chex Mix. You can actually just visit this website, get the first code, and start playing immediately. And if you want the rest of the characters, you can just, I don't know, tune in and, and check the site a little later on. So that is very frustrating. Otherwise, the controls work as they should. I mean, they are a little sluggish, as I mentioned earlier. But you plug in the controller. I've got Xbox One controllers working. X input, it reads just fine. That's not surprising. 
Again, it's a newer engine. Just make sure you have all your controllers plugged in before you start the game, otherwise it probably won't work. All right, so for criteria number three, lasting appeal. Well, you've got just three maps in this game, and honestly, it's they're pretty light. There is an attempt to make the game kind of fun, you know, it's got power-ups and pickups and stuff on the map, but the reality is is that the maps just aren't very well designed. You have this issue where armor pickups are on like very specific points on the map, and sometimes it's just in one area, so potentially you could have one player kill everyone and then camp that spawn for more armor. So the other players can't get the armor, so when you're in a duel with this other player who's camping the armor, you're gonna lose almost every single time. It was ridiculous when I was playing this game against my brother. I could not kill him because he would just snatch the armor before I could. And the spawning isn't very good either. There isn't really much else to say regarding that. Again, the gameplay is a little bit sluggish, and the multiplayer component is just very lacking. I mean, you do have some mild options for adjusting how each match is played, like a timer. But the lowest it can go is 5 minutes, and the highest is 20, and the only other option is kills to win. So, that's pretty underwhelming, honestly. So, should you give Chex Mix HD a shot for the multiplayer? Uh, no. I mean, really, outside of the nostalgia factor for the single-player campaign, you're not getting much here out of multiplayer. There's not much to do, there's not much, really, here that's worth attempting to play. There's better options out there for playing a shooter in local multiplayer. I mean, the Serious Sam games are a dime a dozen. You can get Serious Sam, the second encounter, HD, pretty cheap. And if you want something really good, I mean, you can try getting Blood, which you're seeing right here. Blood, Fresh Supply, which has up to eight player local multiplayer. It's insane. It's really fun to play. And... If you don't want to pay the $10 it costs for this game, you can get it really cheap on some third-party legitimate key websites. I've seen it for as low as a dollar. And beyond that, you could just set up some shooter on an emulator and play that, like Perfect Dark or something. Like, you can just literally play anything else. Not very fun. The single player, you might get some nostalgia out of, but the multiplayer, it's not worth your time, honestly. Alright guys, stay tuned for more videos. My top 10 of the decade is still coming out. I have other videos in the works. I have the scripts done. I have most of it edited together. The problem is, is that I've had some surgery done, so I can't do these videos too much right now, but it's been getting better, so that's why I haven't been posting. But these videos are coming. I am working on them. It's just taking me a little bit of extra time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm out.